All right, good morning, good day. This is the African Crypto Warlord. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we are going to be looking into Bitcoin. All right, um, my previous analysis was pretty good. Uh, rounded off quite nicely on the five day cones. We'll bring that up. Just for now, we will be, and I will say this. Um, this is my morning stream, and then in about, call it 13 hours, I will be scalping Bitcoin live on YouTube. So if you're watching this, turn on your bell notifications. There will be about 100 to 180 trades, and the stream will either be an hour and 45 minutes or three hours if I don't over trade and the exchange bans me for trading for 24 hours all right we're going to get into bitcoin we'll start on the high term time frames and this is something that i'm keeping my eye on i think a lot of people don't actually look at the higher term time frames and the general story is is this thing's got a, a drive of bed div on the 90 day if it fails 60k <coughs> Sorry, if it fails 60K, $250, I do look for some more downside. 46, worst case where these two are now starting to line up, is 32,550. All right, we'll figure that out in two months and 18 days. There's a lot of noise to be had actually in this region. So I'm going to say volatility is in a contraction phase. We don't have the tools this high up, but just judging by the candles, it's in a contraction phase on these higher term time frames, anything above like the seven day is in a contraction phase and it's looking for a new trend. All right, so if you fail here, I would know. So just call it 60, what I said there, 6420. If it fails 6420, at least down to 47, 45, 500. Okay, so contraction and volatility, we're looking for an explosion. Uh, might take another 90 minute print so the end of the year so coming into january i think we get an explosive move and i'm guessing if two candles were printing above 61 420 or just 60 420 and this could have an opportunity to at least bounce off of the mean reversion turn it around so we need about two candles the same size as this going sideways over here now there's a lot of noise to be had so the 90 day is technically saying down if it can break that region the 45 day which nailed it perfectly i'll super zoom here so the 45 day has got a hidden bull div posturing okay and it comes from all the way down here i think even lower i think it's, is that the 18 grand shy okay so it's from this region here on the ro and it's trying to set in um, price actions, trying to set in a higher low, and the oscillator is setting in a lower low. So there's a divergence there, and this is what is pulling up the hidden bull dev. All right, this hidden bull dev, if it does want to play through, is only going to play through at either one of these orange lines. So this would might be next month's print, depending on how good like the 14 day and 21 day look. So 65, let's see, 65 full break. So 66,385. So that's pretty much exactly the top of that wick. If it can break that wick, that thing is set and it's off to the races. Okay, 21 day. 21 day, what can we see? We can see volatility is completely expanded. It's moved into a 50-50 mode. Got denied by it to reverse wave tendies. If it keeps failing 65478, then there'll be a hidden bear div that's allowed to play through. Given this thing has been green for a very long time, right? Like when it's green, it's fucking green. When it's red, it's red. So given it's been green for a long time, <laughs> And it has tried to base itself off of both means here. I do feel like price action might be hung up in here this month. So they call it October or something. I think it's sideways October. 
for now on this analysis. So that range would be $65,150 to $59,875. So if it can trap itself in here, that obviously will help the 45-day bullish posturing, which can then help turn around the 90-day bear drive of div and keep it above the mean. So it needs to hold in here at least on the 90-day for like until January. But on the 21-day, hold above, hold above this mean, you might have some bullishness. You fail this mean, you're going to get continuation off of this hidden bear div. Initial touches are down here at about 54,500. Fail that, you're into 42. So there's 42 targets coming up. And in the next 21 day print, I wouldn't be surprised this thing's also printing into about 42. So it will be quantified in 12 days and 19 hours, that 42 target. Okay, 14 day. Ew, this is nuts. Look at those candles. Okay, 14 day also pulling up a hidden bed div. Uh, do I have volatility on these? I do. It's sideways. Here is again sideways, but for the first time we have the opportunity to see if there's going to be a trend on the 14 day. So the 14 day and the 21 day ironically close at the same time in 12 days and 19 hours. Okay. What can we see here? Hidden bed div, hidden drive of bed div on the RO. DLP is also starting to tick over here. Its breakout range is 64.26. Close above there. You'll close above the 45-day um, reverse wave tendies. Okay, start failing below here. We do look for initial touch down into these means at 61.413. Fail that mean, you're starting to get into the 45-day range at about 60,659. Okay, so there's still quite a tight range here. It's just shy of about, what's the current price? So it's just shy of about 5% hmm, move, okay, worth of variance in the next 14 days. <clears throat> and from this 14 day, we'll be able to see if the entropy, the trend oscillator, or the thing that will that tells you that there's a trend or a random walk. Um, if it does start to break below here, I wouldn't be surprised to see that entropy starts to kick up, meaning that the trend is to the downside. So this is a very tight range. We will get a lot more defined as we start to drop lower. All right, so just to keep it super simple, over here at 61, so this is on a seven day. It's 61,373. So just call it 61,420. Just, yes, yeah, it's actually 60, 61,420. You start failing there, you do have the opportunity to mean revert down. You hold above 61,420, it might have the, the RO might have the opportunity to bounce. What can we see here on volatility? Volatility is contracting or moving into positive drift phase, which means small candles down. And if it holds that phase, then I'll know anything on the lower term time frames um, is just going to set lower highs. Not all the time, but 80% of the time. Okay, so I'd be expecting lower highs from anything on the 6-hour, 12-hour to the 24-hour. And even lower than that, depending if they all match up. Okay, so we are looking for a trend. And that trend is more than likely going to kick up as soon as you start touching 61, 420. And by the time that happens, this RO is more than likely going to be at the mean. So that mean I'm calling here on the RO is this Laplace distribution, highly statistically significant probability, part of the cone, the blue one here. Okay, it isn't a positive skew. So given that it is in a positive skew, this orange one's also pointing up, I would expect a lower high. Like if it was to get absolutely a lower, a higher low. So if it was to get absolutely drastic, have we broken time here? We have broken time here. All right, so that's at about 33 grand. This one's now starting to match up around about the same price at 33 grand, 551. Okay, if this was to start pushing down in let's say December, January, that would be the region I'd look for a lower high for hidden bull dip. Anyway, so you break that line, you come down here to 48, here's 44, 45, 
and here's that 42 target okay hold above this blue line which i'd like for it to test even though it has tested it can build like a whole bunch of small candles because we do know that we're in small candles down if it builds a whole bunch of small candles above 61524 it can rocket ship quite high given that the probabilities currently let's see where volatility is it's still a far way away from printing a new cone so you hold above here furthermore you could let it slide down into these 55 regions but you build out a whole bunch of small candles here then this thing can rocket ship up into new highs 92 let's see anything else up here are we both validating that's still 89 just shy so it's a two grand difference breaks that that's one hundred and twenty four thousand dollars. wow let's go do some stupid numbers for hopium people any pinks matching up pink and blue oh interesting okay so this is for the first time in a very long time that the colors have matched up two hundred and forty five thousand dollars all right so those those guys are matching up and we've got these guys matching up all right so that's technically a range 33 grand to 240 45 grand but we're here to have more actionable shit okay so i would be looking any failures here at 61 500 dumperoo hold above here pumperoo okay five day cone did so well uh, it did so well this is actually the thumbnail all right so general rule is is if you've watched the stream a few times is as i said it goes from pink to pink all right if it can hold above that pink you have seriously bullish structure <clears throat> as we see it, it came up and failed both pinks okay this is obviously the mean of the pink and this is the skewed part of the pink but it failed that pink all right on the left hand side here what you can see is the mean of the cone that's actually stuck in negative drift and if it fails this mean i would be looking for a retest down to the right here 61 ish 61 100 furthermore breaks that with kicking up the seven day and the 14 day trend to the downside i'd be looking at 57 8 or 6 let's see if there's any colors that are lining up we do wow there's a lot of colors so 52 is quantifying itself down here and i suppose if they are quantifying themselves down here there might be some to the upside just for those super bulls yeah there you go 83 grand all right very unusual very very unusual that uh both sides of the cone get um verified or quantified at the same time so we've seen that on both of them as i said if you hold out small little candles through here so just call it above the 61 102 from that seven day cone all right 61 30 350 so you start holding small candles down this is again negative drift small candles down and you can make like a u bottom this thing could be off to the races to the upside it'll be very it's a lot easier to turn around a whole bunch of small candles data than it is to turn around big candles worth of data you get good trends from small candles into big candles that can actually hold the trend and keep a direction okay so this is my most pinnacle point here for long term is 61 102 all right break that this thing's just gonna rocket ship down i'm guessing at least to 57 but more than likely from pink to pink is the rule 53 987 and as you can see here it's matching up there okay three day has a little bit of hidden bull div so it's the only technically bullish sign we've seen everything else has pretty much been so 90 days been down 45 days been down 21 days been hidden bear div sideways this is sideways on the 14 day looking for more down seven day is technically down looking for continuation five days in negative drift so small candles down three days the only thing that's actually currently trying to hold price action up and it kind of got obliterated within these three days so it did push itself up to 64 over here it hit perfectly to 64 374 um but because that negative drift has been 
because those negative nonsense on the higher term time frame just sitting there, what did I say? We do know that anything that gets pushed up is going to be sculpted into, thus making lower highs. And as you can see, that's a lower high. All right. So there's a hidden bull dev forming here. Um, trend entropy is trying to build. We'll see what happens on the next three day print. But I would just keep it plain and simple and say, on the next three day print, there will be a zone of liquidity back here at 62. Let me super zoom there when these things cross, there'll be a zone of liquidity sitting here at 62, 245. So if it does push up, I would expect it to work down into this region again, just below current price action and try bounce off of there. Furthermore, if it does dump, let's say down to 68.94, I would expect it to try and pull back up and then make its decision. So three day, it's the only little thing that's sort of bullish 24 hour, Hidden, hidden bed div, so that's a continuation signal to the downside. Um, losing its negative drift though, so this is very sideways price action. Um, it's gonna be quite hard, I'm not gonna say, I actually love this, this kind of period, um, but it might be very frustrating for people that are trading, like they'll put in a, three or four trades in a week, like they're gonna find this very frustrating this time. For me, I love it when Bitcoin just goes sideways. You just buy the bottom, sell the top, buy the bottom, sell the top, buy the bottom, sell the top. And you can generate, I can generate a lot more uh, like profitable scalps, believe it or not, in this kind of price action. So I'm happy with this. But for the people that aren't, if it fails below 62,516, zone of liquidity building here at 61,408. All right, so we have 61, 300 I think on the seven day cone so there's some liquidity building down here that liquidity has already been tapped to the upside that one's been worked all right uh, any failures below 63 we can be very smart as you can see there's red dots there on the left but oh this is actually really good we have an untouched daily mean up here I think um, any failures below six D2752, I do look for continuation down into this region here. Hold above uh, 62746 today, tomorrow, uh, maybe Thursday. And I'm guessing today though, you do have a touch at 62934, furthermore up into here at about 63303. So that's, that's a little bit of a range, but we will get a lot more definable as we start to drop in lower. Sorry, what was that? That was a uh, negative drift, losing correlation. This is technically was in dump mode, losing correlation, random walk. So this, today might be just a sideways day, trying to build a hidden bull div. Any holding above, any holding above uh, 62, 120, you can allow for that hidden bull div to play through. Problem is DLP is coming in here. So in order to break or turn this DLP around, you'd need to, so this is more like actionable shit. This is stuff you could trade in like the next 36 hours. All right, um, 62557, five, you hold it, you get a candle above there and you close this 12 hour above there. That could allow for a push into the zone of liquidity building here at 63151, all right. Now, a time frame that really helps with one minute scalps with my regard. Sideways here, not so much price action. It's not too friendly. Big candle down, small candle here. No zones of liquidity. Those are already tapped to the downside. Start failing that mean. You do continue down to 61, 300. Start holding above this mean. You can push back into about 62. I think that's where those red lines are sitting. 62303. All right. This is the daily mean. We'll drop into that once we get there. Three hour. Let me get rid of this. Three hour trying to bounce off of uh, ultimate power mean. Hey, why didn't you load? Okay, we'll just use the one on the left trying to bounce off of ultimate power mean here in order to save itself. 
ultimate power meaning is sitting at 62,300. I'd say you hold 62,300 in the next six hours. You're trying to push back up to 62,940. So that's about a 1% move. Just shy of a 1% move to come off of today. Right now it'll be about a 0.8% move if it was to reverse now. All right. Then whilst we're here on the three hour, this is... Why didn't that thing print? Okay, that was last week's weekly. This is the current weekly. Mm -hmm. So we need to clear the current weekly mean, which is actually very tight. So it's going to tell us there's a lot of volatility in the book. As you can see from since it printed, what's that? That It's had about 3% worth of, worth of volatility of whatever given price it is. Okay, hold above this ultimate power mean here. It's 62,313. You can mean revert back up into the daily, you fail that thing, and you start looking for the downside on the monthly, which comes into effect more than likely when I start streaming again at about 8 o'clock. Okay, so 6780. You fail 62295. You do look for a push down into $60,800. Okay, hold above this at 62.304. We do look for an initial touch at 62.9922. Furthermore, mean reversion at 63.106. And it usually likes to play around in between the daily range. So I'd, I'd say you hold above this thing. More than likely, you're going to go and try and push for 63.282. Okay, 90 minutes. Oh, I didn't get that. Okay, sorry. Six hour fifty fifty. That's fifty fifty. That's negative drift. So it's trying to push it into the other side of this reverse wave tendy down here at sixty two just call it over here into our monthly range, plus one monthly at sixty two oh four nine. All right, ninety minute if it does trigger through. What is this ultimate power mean? It's on. I can't see it, so it's below it. Okay, so we run this 90 minute on this here. 62312 is, I would say, that thing's mean aversion. 62132, but actually be just below that. So you start breaking that into your monthly range here. I would expect a little bit of a bounce given that Bitcoin loves these monthly ranges and generates such beautiful scalps off of them. 45 minute, looking a little bit dumperoo, in a trend, small candles down, trying to push to 62.109. What's here? We have our hull thingy, 62.32. And now this is the most important part. Okay, we'll start on the left because it's in the cone. Now, this is the 15 minute Laplace distribution cone. Um, long story short, this daily actually has been quantified, so it is in range. But as that thing got quantified, so did the bottom side. <clears throat> or oh, the monthly plus one. So the mean plus one. Uh, just call it a standard deviation. Um, that's also been quantified. So you might find that you'll have, if it starts failing this, obviously, so it's failed this blue line. So my next expectation is definitely to the downside here. So I'd be looking for something like this, maybe within the day. Ding, 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 bing, ding, 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 ding. And if it's really strong, we're pushing to the upside of that cone. So I know when I'm wrong, if it's obviously on the other side of this white line, it will push back up there. But here we're looking at about a minus one point, uh, minus 0 0.6. And if you go from there to there, you're looking at about a 1.42% move all the way up to a 2% move. So today is about, a if you can do it in four trades, you're looking at about 2.6% uh, gain. Obviously spot, you're gonna sell it, save there, and you're gonna try long it up. Um, and if it was to get really greedy, at least to the downside, there's a mean version here at 0 0.78, and I'm gonna guess it might actually push for a whole 1%, but yeah. so. You're going to hit this more than likely send wicks down to 61.941, bounce back up and have like a nice reversal on a 15.45 minute down here. 
five minutes not that it's going to make a difference not that it's going to make a difference that's negative drift so it's going to carry on pushing below that white line we're looking at and i don't have anything on the one minute one minute 50 50 dlp is turning around that's where our white line is this is our mean our zone of liquidity here at 6256 let's go back to that 15 minute 6256 it's just on the top side of this thing 6256 it's actually in the center okay anyway if you see price on binance at 42441 and it's reversed around it's more than likely pushing here and if i can hold 62578 it's going to push up if it starts failing 62474 whatever this price is now i do look for my initial observation all right if you guys found this information helpful please do like and subscribe and i'll leave you off with this so here's a big problem um <sighs> you can't play this stupid game bitcoin i should put the vres on so you can see. this was yesterday's stream so the guys that are for trading we do a daily live stream or bilbo does a daily live stream he started streaming here and in about the first 10 minutes um he pulled out a target all the way up to here at 64 on the dot. I was, I was scalping during the, during the sesh. So let's just say he jumped in halfway through here because we can. The dude gave you a free two, two, two and a half, two point four percent signal. I'm not saying it's a signal, but if your ears are open and you learn the tools a bit, you'll be able to figure out what's going on. Okay, so here's the problem. We have an untouched daily up here. So it's naturally it's daily magnet, all right? It always wants to hit this thing. You can be very profitable trying to trade into this thing. So if it's above it, you can short it. If it's below it, you can long it. But obviously you want levels like we have on the 15 minute on the other cone to see what's happening. But anyway, you start failing below the 62.583 or furthermore, even if you do hit this thing today, I would say for to tomorrow, Let's say you start failing this mean today at 62.944. Man, there's serious targets to downside, all right? Like the rule is you go from one side of the cone to the other side of the cone. And this is technically in today's date. It's 59.059. All right, your mean, your mean was quantified over here, but you, still, you have high probabilities as well coming in at about 67.90, okay? Turn around, as you say, that is the daily magnet, but I would be looking for at least a touch down here. If not, it's quite a strong coin, given that there's serious probabilities to the downside. Um, one last little maybe liquidation play here. Seems like it actually might go through 15 minute, what's our 15 minute volatility saying? It's, yeah, it's in a random walk. It's gonna get cut at that halfway line. Where's our reverse wave tendies? So this things will print eventually. There and there. Yeah, so that's this halfway line. It's got to battle these reverse wave tendies. If it fails these reverse wave tendies at the halfway point, um, anything below here I do look for. A touch to the bottom side. Anything above 6258, I, I would look, for, as I say, it's going to touch the bottom. I still look at this maybe for today. And so, well, this this target will more than likely be hit by in the next 14 hours okay and that's as we think we've pulled we'll just pull it from here so that's 0 0.5 and that's a one percent move okay cool if you found this information helpful please do like and subscribe um there are links to my private discord and links to alpha trading tools the tools that i use in order to scalp 0.5 percent now to one percent today in like 100 trades to 180 trades and i will see you guys hopefully a little later today um when i can trade again so i'm going to be doing a live stream if you want to see how i trade the live stream you'll be genuinely looking at shit like this and i'll be hitting all of all of the data all right, this is all one minute screens, different exchanges, blah, de, blah, blah. But yeah, so I'm, the current volatility, I'm happy to catch about a $35 scalp. 
and $60 scalp is the goal. And if I can let it run and I see that all the time frames are coming in, hopefully $120 scalp in like 90 seconds to three minutes. Um, so yeah, as it being turned around, I'd have to have the one minute cone on to see if there's anything down here. I'd wait for this one to touch, then I would purchase it. Actually, it doesn't really matter, but yeah. So you'll be looking at a screen like this. You'll be looking at the 15 minute cone and a one minute cone, which I haven't set up currently. Okay, bang, manage it with $7 worth of risk. Let's see if it turns around just knowing the beast. If it doesn't, it's fine. Ding, turn around. Yeah, it's only a $3 gain. There you go. And now it's technically want to start looking to get out because I know this thing can just flash back down. Cool, cool, cool. And it'd be like one or two candles, to, not this one, but the next one to get up there. So $16 scalp, as I said, I'm very happy with $35 scalps. Just so you guys can see. So it's that 30, that's just shy of a 30, $35 scalp. And. Yeah, I'd get out now. Bang, thank you for the cash. That was 40 seconds. Um, yeah. If you want to see how we play that game, join us in a bit. Much power. Stay fucking wow. African Crypto Warlord out.